Hello and welcome to another special video review and tonight we've got the Transformers Robots in Disguise Combiner Force Soundwave. Now I am a huge fan of Soundwave. Soundwave is my all time favorite and this one is really pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah he doesn't combine he's just part of the Combiner Force line. I find it stupid that they just stab Combiner Force on everything right now, even though it doesn't combine, but yeah, whatever. Uh, underneath here, we've got preview figures for Wingblade, Skywarp, and Blur. Now, I already reviewed Blur. Wingblade may come up in future. And Skywarp, well, he wasn't out when I bought those. So, yeah, probably get it when he comes out. So, yeah, there's uh, nothing special for the box. He transformed into 14 steps. That's what they say, though. Uh, instruction in the back right here. I'm not a fan of those, but yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. So let's open up the box. Take it out. The gun just flew off. And throw this aside. Put him down and throw this aside. And let's start with the gun. No, it's not much. It's just a shoulder cannon with nice details in it. I would have liked like the uh, red missiles, but yeah. Beggars can be choosers. So the cannon handle can move like this. It's not much, but yeah. It plugs onto his shoulder, obviously, because it's his signature weapon. Now, I'm a little bit disappointed that he doesn't have the uh, gun in his hands. It's just like, uh, let's move the camera a little bit down. So yeah, he doesn't have the cannon in the sand, just the shoulder ones, but yeah. Now, if you notice anything, he's got the prime head. Look at this closer. Yeah, he's got the prime head. He's like an amalgam of a lot of um, sound wave we recently got. The body kind of looks like the uh, for, uh, War for Cybertron, Far for Cybertron, uh, Soundwave. The head is like for the uh, Prime one. Uh, the vehicle kind of looks like a, a mix of the animated, animated or Prime? I'm, I think it was animated one. Animated the um, Soundwave and uh, a little bit with the um, uh, Far for Cybertron one. So yeah, he's... Uh, Kind of a mixed bag of all the recent sound wave we've got. And he still looks awesome. So for the arms, we've got a swivel right here that we shouldn't use too much. Because it's part of the uh, lock mechanism, mechanism. We've got a ball joint right here. The arms is also on a ball joint right here. And also on a swivel right here. But this is for transformation. So um, yeah. There's nothing in the arm, the wrists. I'm quite disappointed with this because the transformation uh, into vehicle mode, the hands sticks out and they would be, uh, they would stick less out if the uh, the hand would rotate just 90 degrees on the side. It would have been nice, but yeah, it doesn't. So we do have a uh, waist swivel at the top right here. Like the waist moves at the top, but if you hold. No, it doesn't move, so it just moves at the top. So it's more like a um, ab swivel, not a, oops. It's like a ab swivel and not a waist swivel, it's kind of odd. We've got thigh swivel right here with a ball joint for the leg, which gives the whole karate chop. <laughs> the leg does move uh, a little bit shy of 90 degrees because the, the leg bumps onto the uh, back cover right here. And the foot is on a tiny swivel. It doesn't move side to side, just swivel like this. And the head is on a ball joint, plus a swivel right here. It's kind of <laughs> odd, but yeah. Uh, like I said, the arms, uh, they clip down like this. But uh, when they're like this, they, they hold the torso up. But when you move the arms just a little bit, like, uh, like the torso like unlocks itself. If you can look closer, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but right here you've got tiny hooks on each side and they move like this. And this is what clamps onto the, uh, the truck right here. So when you move the arms down, they should clamp on. 
and this is what locks the mechanism but it doesn't take much you know to just move the arms and up pegs everything so um, yeah kind of weird also another grave of mine uh, abs hollow in the back eh, it's not the greatest but yeah whatever it's cool but it's sound wave I still take it but sound wave is my favorite <laughs> so let's move the cannon onto his shoulder let's do a size comparison here's the mp3 player sound wave here's the prime sound wave as you can see the heads looks so much the same <laughs> yeah i would have loved if they uh, provided a um buzz saw or uh you know, the A cassette, the Panther, or, you know, would have been cool, but there is no place, obviously, to store it. The uh, chest doesn't open up, it's just like this. For those interested and who plays the game, here's a free code. I don't know what it unlocks in the game, I don't play the game, but here it is. People can use it. <laughs> just pause the video and have fun, whatever. So, um, yeah, transformation now. Alright, uh... First up, you want to rotate the shoulder pads like this. Next up, you just hold the uh, shoulder and you move the arms back like this. And as you can see, there's a panel right here. Just move the panel down and just move the arms like this so that the panel goes with that panel right here. It doesn't peg anywhere, it just hold. It's just like a guideline, you know. We move the gun. <laughs> Alright, do the same thing for the other side. Move the arms back, flip the cover right here, and move it like this. So now you have the arms done. Next up, you want to fall the uh, hood down and move the head down like this. Now you can see there's a two bars right here the head needs to pass through it like this and yeah next up you want to come to the crotch plate and move it back like this it, oh, it only goes like 90, degree, 90 degrees next up the legs you want to flip the wheels like this and flip the leg on the other side flip the wheels like this flip the leg like this next up the feet you just flip them down flip them down there's a peg right here you want to peg the legs in next you need to bring the knees inside of the uh, the uh, post right here for the uh, cannon there's a peg underneath can we focus maybe we can see there's tiny pegs on each side and they plug onto the knees so you need to bring this up like this and clamp it up like this so the legs just bend 90 degrees like this and finally you just bring the arms down there's a right here there's a tiny peg which is gonna peg inside of here there's a tiny hole so you just move the arms down pick it down move the arms down pick it down Inside of the arms right here, there's uh, another peg, which plugs onto the legs right here. So, plug the arms in, plug the other arms in, like this. And finally, in the back right here, the panel right here is going to peg inside. So, there's a tiny peg right here that clamps in. And we're pretty much done. So... Here's Soundwave in truck mode. Now the truck is really cute, sort of like a armored truck. We can use the cannon, pick it air. Like I said for the hands, if we could simply rotate the hands 90 degrees, the, the, the panel right here would have been on top and it would have hide, hidden the, the hands a little bit more, but yeah, whatever. Truck mode, like I said, is really nice. Armored truck. We've got the signature sound wave front right here. Uh, armored cockpit right here. The nice wheels kind of looks like the uh, Corvus Arbitron one. 
It's really empty inside though. Kind of weird, but yeah. We don't look cars from underneath. The back right here, really cool. The truck is really tiny though, so comparison, we've got the false Cybertron deluxe one. This is the, not the Voyager one. This is really the deluxe one. Like I said, they do look kind of apart, uh, kind of similar. Like this is more like sort of stylish Earth-like. Earth -earth -like. And this is more like Cybertron-ish armored truck. And here is the animated Soundwave truck, which looks really good. It's like these two just crash into it together and it comes up like this. <laughs> like I said, I would have loved having a uh, cassette, maybe the Panther of the uh, or the Buzzsaw one, just you know, accompany Soundwave because it's Soundwave. He needs his cassette. Uh, <laughs> I do love the idea that the animated one had a guitar, which turned into a cassette. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put those aside. So yeah, uh, robots in disguise. Combiner Force Soundwave. As a big fan of Soundwave, I am quite happy with it. The truck mode does feel flimsy. It does roll nice, but everything pegs in together. But like everything feels like it's gonna unpeg and just. You know, the fact that it's all empty and you know just holding it makes the panel on tab itself sort of it's kind of odd but yeah still i'm a huge fan of soundwave and the robot mode looks amazing so yeah do i recommend this guy absolutely <laughs> soundwave superior so yeah thank you for watching and see you next time